Hey guys, I'm coming at you with another minimalist wallet review. As you can tell, I have got the Grip6 wallet here. Some of you may know Grip6 as a belt manufacturer. Their owner, BJ Minson, uh, created a new belt design. He did a Kickstarter a few years back, and that belt has really taken off. They've got dozens and dozens of different sorts of buckle designs and materials, um, and their company is really highly regarded. I don't own one of their belts, but I have been interested in their company since the beginning and they are super highly regarded. So when BJ did a new Kickstarter for this minimalist wallet design, I jumped right on it. I was one of 7,000 backers, which is double or triple the amount they anticipated. Uh, so it really took off. This is one of the first 1,000 or 1,500 wallets out of that 7,000. So I think this is one of the first ones that have been able to get into the hands of uh, the backers. So I wanted to go over it real quickly, show you how it works, um, give you my initial impressions of this thing. So, I'm not one for packaging, as you guys know. Just got this though, so I figured I'll give you just a quick once over of what the packaging looks like. Um, the packaging does smell a little bit like wood smoke. Like, not like smoke, not like burning, like actual wood smoke. It almost seems intentional. I don't know if it is or not. Maybe because I have the red ember color, or because their company is based in Utah, I'm not sure. But this product does, or the packaging at least, distinctly, Smells like smoke, which is a nice touch if you like it or not. I can't guarantee yours will smell like smoke. This is the ember red color, like I said. It's an anodized aluminum plate on the front and back of the wallet. Some stainless screws, some plastic hardware on the sides and internally. Very nice, very simple wallet. It is very thin, as you can see. I opted to get mine with the finger loop. The Kickstarter allowed you to get it with or without the finger loop and with or without a leather cash and card sleeve that went around the outside. You guys know I've got my minimalist needs pretty dialed in, so I don't need a lot of extra stuff, but uh, in the Kickstarter and hopefully in their future retail options, you can get the loop, no loop, or a black or brown leather sleeve. Uh, they have a bunch of different colors too, greens and blues and purples and blacks and whites, and it's really cool. So very simply how it works is I squeeze this lever and the cards pop up in this little stair step pattern. It's really pretty cool so that way you can see which cards you want to get out. Um, ideally when you let it go the cards would all fall back down. A couple of my cards are a little thicker than the others so I think that's interfering with it. Again it's a no issue at all. I'm going to just poke them right back in. Um, I really think it's neat. The way it works is this lever actuates a little gear down here which raises an internal lever that lifts the cards. That internal lever has got three different lengths, I guess maybe fingers is the way to think about it. And as the lever lifts the cards, it lifts them to the three different heights that you see. So here you go. Three different heights. The cards are locked in actively. They're not a passive lock. When I first saw it, I thought maybe it was a tension lock or something. But they are actively locked, and I'll show you how that works. Um, this, like I said, is a lever. Here's the pivot point. So the top of the lever has got a little claw, if you can see that. And that little claw is what squeezes the cards in there. So when you depress the lever to get it out, it, remove, it I guess, deactivates that claw. But they are 100% locked in there, which is really nice. And really easy to get out in the stair step pattern. With any Kickstarter, with any new product design, there are challenges. Um, BJ and Grip6 had their fair share of challenges. Their anodizers caused some problems. The leather suppliers they used caused some problems. They did a very, very good job documenting and communicating those issues with the backers. And I still received this thing two months, or two weeks rather, or a month before they promised to deliver it. So they were still ahead of time, which I really liked. Like I said, this is the first 1,000 or 1,500 of these things that they've made and shipped. Some people, I think they've said 10 to 20% of people have issue, have experienced some type of issue, unfortunately. Um, they released a video today, the day I received this, saying that, of course, they would take care of everyone who has an issue, fix it, replace it, whatever they need to do. They want 100% good wallet in everyone's hands. Some of those issues have been locking mechanism issues. I've not experienced that. Or people with the leather sleeve option, sometimes the leather is very tight and is pressing against the lever, so it's messing with the locking mechanism. Obviously, I've not experienced that. 
The only issue that I may have, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to send my cards flying everywhere, is as you can see, this is how the cards go up. I'm giving this a pretty stiff squeeze. If I was to squeeze the holy hell out of it, a couple of the cards would go bouncing out. But I don't even know why anyone would squeeze this thing that hard. That's as hard as I could think to squeeze it and not even close to coming out. Um, could be a potential issue for some people. I think muscle memory and just understanding the product should avoid that issue. That's the only thing that's close to an issue that I've got. Everything is nice and smooth, locks up really nicely, very minimal rattling. Um, it feels really good in the pocket. This finger loop doesn't add any bulk. It feels real nice. It's very smooth, good fit and finish. Uh, I do like the finger loop. It's just a little bit of a fidgety toy sort of thing. It kind of helps it feel even cooler. Um, like I said, I've got six cards in here. I could put a seventh card, um, and the wallet would still work, but it would just be a little stiffer. It wouldn't come out as easily. It wouldn't go in as easily. So I'm sticking to six because that's what I carry in my usual um, everyday carry wallets anyway. So this works really well for me. Like I said, if you are interested in getting this once it hits their retail page, or if you've got it already, lots of options, lots of colors. This is just the one I happen to go with. Um, the Kickstarter process has been really good. Uh, I'm sure once this thing hits retail, which I believe is going to be early next year uh, in 2020, it'll be a great thing to get your hands on. If you ordered it in the Kickstarter and you're waiting for it or you've already got it, I hope you love it as much as I do. Uh, maybe let me know in the comments if you've had issues or if you like it or if you're just excited to wait to get one of your own. I highly recommend it. I think it's a very innovative. It's one of the most unique non-gimmicky wallet ideas I've seen. And as you guys know, I spent a lot of time looking into these things and I own more than a dozen of these different minimalist wallets. And this one is right up there. Made in the USA, small business, right up my alley, and it's an excellent, excellent product. So I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope I was able to break it down for you in a useful way. And if you guys get the chance in the future to pick these things up, I really hope you do that. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next one.